Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have from the Super Action Statue line, Joseph Joestar. Uh, now he is the son of Jonathan Joestar. Um, basically, the the, jo the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series is pretty crazy. I haven't finished it yet. I, I finished the first arc, which was uh, Jonathan Joestar. And then I moved on to Joseph Joestar. And I, at first I really didn't like him. I was like, eh, it's like, I don't really care about his character that much. Like, I, I really like Jonathan the most. Um, but watching Joseph, I was like, wow, I was like, this character is so, so goddamn funny, and I don't know, like, I just love his fighting style overall, and I love, like, his clothes, I love, like, his stance and everything, well, not his, not his stand or anything like that, but, um, just the way that he kind of, like, you know, I don't know, holds himself together. Um, but I haven't finished the series, um, so I'm, I'm still in the second arc, which is, uh, his arc. Uh, currently and I am gonna I am gonna finish I just been kind of overwhelmed with a lot of different things But eventually I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the storyline So what can I say about the figure? Well, I don't have no idea to be honest uh, I haven't touched any of these figures before I haven't like you know messed with them posed them uh, Just seen a couple of reviews and uh, promotional pictures and everything. They look great. They look phenomenal But this one in particular, I think he was going for like 60 or 70 bucks online And I was like that is just way too much for a figure in my opinion uh, but I managed to snatch him up for uh, $39.80, uh, which is about $40. Um, so I was like, you know what, $40 for this, that's not too bad. Um, so just looking at the front art, you know, you just see the uh, the figure as well as some of the accessories. And it says JoJo's Bizarre Adventure right down there. Uh, looking on the side, basically just seeing him in a nice little pose. And then on the back, that's where you get like most of your little pose ideas. So he has that little hammer uh, in the middle, and then he has the crossbow. Um, just kind of like jumping and then more little uh, poses um, and kind of like a little side note uh, the creator of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure took a lot of inspiration from Italian uh, statues as well as like the fashion from um, you know Italy so um, that, that's kind of like the bizarre look of, uh, of these guys and you see it does come with multiple uh, faces so you kind of have a neutral one it's, and one that's kind of like screaming uh, you do get a stand and then you're going to get a large amount of accessories uh, including a bunch of different hands as well as all these different weapons right here and on this side uh, nothing else and looking at the overall details painting and sculpting this is fantastic nothing short of amazing um, I love the shading you see all like the little wrinkles in the pants like it just everything about this looks fantastic so it's actually pretty surreal that they actually managed to get so many details the shading um just the overall like aesthetics in such a small little figure um usually like statues would, be, would do this but a figure it's kind of like pretty unheard of okay so let's take a look at the articulation uh you do have a ball joint right up here so this can kind of go up and down right here on the neck and then below that you can also move it back and forth uh, now the hair kind of gets in the way of this part and uh, I do you know tend to have this part kind of like just pop out so um, you may have to like put some glue on that let it dry and then pop it right back on uh, it's just a little bit loose but yeah there's another joint right inside there and then right here on the shoulder you do see a rotation that can go forward as well as go backwards uh, this can come up about that far it can also completely rotate right there on the shoulder uh, then you, you're gonna have another little kind of rotation right here uh, pretty much above the bicep and then on the elbow you're gonna have a nice little bend like that I I mean this thing is like gonna be freaking awesome whenever you're posing it and then on the wrist you're also gonna have some little posability so this can rotate all the way around and can basically move back and forth and then there's gonna be a ball joint right here on the uh, top of the abdomen, so it can basically move all the way around like that. And then below the abdomen, pretty much around the waist, uh, this part can move all the way around as well. Looking at the waist, it's also gonna be on a ball joint right here, so uh, going out, basically gonna be that about that far. Uh, can't really go inside of the hip, but it can basically go kick out that far, and then basically go out about that far. So I think this is kinda of like the normal range that you would see uh, on a human, I don't really think you're going to get too much uh, craziness, but a more widespread um, kind of like splits probably would have been a little bit better. And then right here on the upper thigh, you basically get a nice little uh, swivel kind of like right here. Looking at the knee, you're going to have two joints right here and here, so these can basically bend like so. And then on the ankle, it basically can go up and down and swivel back and forth. So you can kind of position it to get on it like basically the exact point that you really want it for those nice little poses. And then of course right here, there's going to be a nice little toe bend. 
Okay, and this also comes with different heads, so you're gonna have basically like a normal staring face. And then you're also gonna get kind of like a little mad face. And so as far as hands, you do get these nice little fists. And you do get two different, like slightly different uh, knife hands. And you also get these kind of like just wavy fingers. And then you get one grabby hand that's gonna be essentially for holding the different weapons. And this is just another little open hand right there. And you also get a pointing finger for the right hand. And then lastly, you get kind of a, uh, a, a semi pointing finger with the right hand. Okay, what kind of accessories does Jojo come with? Okay, and the next thing we're taking a look at is essentially his little crossbow, but it's not as much of a crossbow as it is kind of like a, um, a slingshot, just about, because it has like these giant black marbles that uh, lie pretty much in the center of it instead of actual bows. But overall, it looks really good and very, very detailed. And then you can also change out the position of uh, essentially the, um, the bow itself, uh, just to make it kind of like rested and not all, all the way uh, cranked back. So the next accessory is going to be the clackers. Uh, essentially, they, they are like very unique weapons to Jojo. Um, he can throw them or he can use them as like a distraction. Um, you know, he, he's, used them, he, he's used them in pretty much most of the episodes that I've seen. Uh, but overall, they look really cool. And I know if you just kind of like angle them pretty good, uh, you can definitely pull off some really nice little poses with them. All right, and the next weapon he actually has is going to be a giant sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, so it's just a giant sledgehammer that he can go ahead and wield. Uh, overall, it looks pretty cool though. And the next weapon that he actually wields is going to be the sledgehammer. So it looks really, really awesome. And he can basically, you know, kind of just wield it around and use it as a nice little melee weapon. And then also you are going to get a nice little stand that has the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure title right there included on the stand. And then, you know, basically just plugs in right in the back like so. Okay, and as for the scarf, well, you can detach the scarf if you really, really want to. Um, but the only problem with that is it's going to leave like a little peg hole right there. Um, so I would just recommend you, you know, honestly, just keeping it like that. Um, just that way you don't really have that ugly looking uh, peg hole kind of like being all shown. Okay, so with the conclusion of the review, what do I think about this figure? I would honestly have to say that this is one of the coolest looking figures I've ever seen. Um, it's actually extremely fun to pose. The only downside is probably the head being a little bit too loose on the figure itself. So even with that minor flaw of the head being a little bit too loose, overall this is a nice figure. And I honestly do encourage anyone to pick this up. Uh, maybe not over the $50 price range, uh, but if you can pick this up for like $40, you know, $50, I think it's 100% worth it. Only even, I, I would say only if you're a huge JoJo fan, uh, but if you're not really into the JoJo scene, then maybe this is not for you. All right guys, well that's it for me. So uh, overall, I do love this figure and I just wish that it came with some different facial expressions. Uh, the normal face as well as the uh, the anger face just kinda is a little bit boring. Um, I, I, I would have loved a little smiling face or laughing or something like that. Um, but overall, amazing figure. Now, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button if you can. Um, you know, check out the rest of my reviews. And if you do enjoy JoJo, like this JoJo review I just did, uh, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see about picking up some other ones. I seen a Dio not too long ago, so maybe I can pick up that one. Uh, but I really want to get Jonathan Joestar. That's kind of like the main one I'm looking for. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Definitely uh, check out the rest of my videos. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the future reviews. Bye bye.